interesting for me. Let's go. Let's go live then. And according to YouTube.com, we are live. Hello. Hi there. Um, bang. That's what it's like to go live on YouTube. Man, so I've been streaming a lot on Twitch. Because that's fun. And, um, I get nowhere near this many viewers. Like, we just started. Um, and there's several hundred people here. Which is, like, never gets that big on Twitch. Which is why I do it on Twitch so much. Thank you, Robban, for the hundred, um, Sweden dollars. My weekend is going well. Thank you for asking. I hope yours is going well also. I'm quiet, you reckon? I'm quiet? Ha! Huh? Let me look into this. Aha! <laughs> I wonder why that happened. That's so weird. <laughs> how, how did that happen? <laughs> oh, wow. It's okay, it's okay. Um, yes, I need to not look at chat because my brain is going to want to read every single message and that means I'm going to be reading it for twice as long as the stream is going. So let's not do that. Instead, I'll just power on through. I'll ignore you guys for the most part. I'll look, I'll look to you for guidance when it's required. <laughs> I'm number two when I Google a got CK3. Is that true? Um... I'm number three on what I see here. That's still pretty good. Um, thanks for the super chat there, Theo. Um, I'm, I'm going to try to keep up with super chats, but it's probably going to be easy to just do them in a big bunch later on. Why Why describe that right now? Hello. Um, so this game came out uh, yesterday, I guess. Um, depending on time zone sh chicanery. It was almost 24 hours ago. And... Um, I've already released a video on it. I played Robert Baratheon, as you can see there, and um, I failed miserably, but I still had fun. It's still a fun game, no matter what happens, uh, most of the time. <laughs> and today, as per a Twitter poll that I ran, we're going to be playing as Rhaegar Targaryen. Um, like Robert, I don't think I've actually, I may have played Rhaegar like once in CK2. I just didn't do the, the standard stuff. Um, thanks for joining Europalet. That's awesome. YouTube members get the same privileges as patrons of a similar level. So, um, that's just another way you can support me if you so choose. Um, thanks, Lucas, for the five bucks. Oh, God, hang on. I'm going to do it later. <laughs> hang on. First, I want to show you the poll. Uh, where is it? Do, 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 do. There it is. Man. Firefox, crazy. Um, so yeah, Rhaegar won with 45% of the vote. I think putting Tywin in there was a bit of a spoiler effect. And so um, the the vote against Rhaegar was split between these two. But that's what first part of the past the post is all about. Um, let me know if the super chat notification is a bit too um, obtrusive. You know what? I'm going to go ahead right now and just move it to the corner so it's not like in the direct middle of the action. Thanks for um, all of that that you're giving me. That's fucking awesome. And I'll get to it later. Um, I'm not going to invite Swifty uh, to do this right now. Um, I don't know what he's up to today. Probably some level of uh, of uh, renegatory, if I can t to coin a term. Um, but we have talked about it. Um, he, he has like no experience with these games, and I have like three thousand hours in CK two and five hundred in CK three. So it'd be really, I think, kind of fun for me to hold his hand through a playthrough. I think that would be fun. So I can see why you'd want to have that happen. Um, all right. Usually I like to wait five minutes before getting started just to let more people roll in. And that appears to be what's happening. So good. <laughs> uh, we'll get started before too long. So I finished the tutorial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually have not finished a full playthrough of CK3. Um, I get bored when I become too powerful and it's like very unlikely that I'm going to be taken down by anything. And um, then things happen that um, sometimes a game update corrupts your save. So, you know, 
What do you do in this game? You um, invade people and have sex with your sister. What else would you do? Do I play more CK3 or CK2? Uh, CK3 for sure. I haven't opened CK2 in a long time. Oh, subscription alerts are on. I don't want that. Hang on. They shouldn't be. But thank you for subscribing either way. Oh, you know what? There are... Hang on, let's have a look. Let's have a look here. I'm going to call you guys out. Okay, there are 600 people watching right now and only 135 likes. I'm going to need that ego to be stroked if you could all just smash that right now. Um, I'm not going to start until you all press the like button. Just so you know. There we go. There it goes. Look at that climb up. <laughs> oh my god, that- holy shit. <laughs> Man, I need to say that more often. No wonder people open their videos with a call to action. That's great. I just watched it go up several hundred at a time. That was awesome. <laughs> um, no, I only say that because I've never paid attention to the like button on streams. I barely pay attention to it on videos. All right, now that my ego has been sufficiently stroked, let us begin. Um, so the game presents you with these five characters to start off with, but if you click down here, you can play as literally anyone on the map. Um, I don't know why I pressed the button. I'm going to play as Rhaegar. But um, yeah, you can... Like, if I divide the land, I can play as Leighton Hightower, I can play as, I don't know, Damon Marbrand, father of Adam Marbrand. Yeah, nailed it. That's the horse video research coming in clutch. <laughs> yeah, you can play as anyone. Um, surely Littlefinger's dad is... Hang on, where's Littlefinger's dad? Midlaw. Oh no, is this little finger at this point? Yeah, of course. Um, yeah, you can play as little finger in Robert's Rebellion. Why not? Um, but we will be playing as Prince Rhaegar. That's the aim of the game today. Anyone with a landed title. Yeah, that's what I mean. Anyone on the map. Um, we're not going to make any variations or anything like that. We're just going to play as Rhaegar Targaryen. Oh. I didn't... Is there supposed to be an event that pops up? Hang on, I'm gonna go back and uh, start it properly instead of going into the um, select anyone menu. Just wanna make sure I haven't fucked anything up. Yeah, I heard that um, they did a lot of work on tournaments. No, no event. Okay, no worries. Um, and then the Crusader Kings devs announced, like Paradox themselves, announce their own tourneys DLC. So it's like, oh, well, we just did a bunch of work on that for uh, them to do the same thing. Why aren't I on Twitch? Uh, I thought that this was um, deserving of main channel status. By the way, I plan on streaming this game, I don't know, am I going to say daily? I'm, a, a lot um, for the near future. And... Uh, Maybe it'll be on YouTube, maybe maybe it'll be on Twitch, so I highly recommend going to Twitch and following me there, twitch.tv slash gliders live. There's no link in the description because I'm silly. Um, but yeah, I'll be... Actually, let me put that in right now before I forget. Um, there we go. So yeah, go there. Hey, um, typing lag into chat doesn't actually make it go away. Um, so I guess our role here is just to um, participate in the war. Maybe events will pop up telling us what to do. Do I have any plots going on against Father Dearest? Uh, let's turn debug mode off. Wait, how do I do that? Um, yeah, there we go. Because I don't want to be... I don't want to cheat. Not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. Encoding lag... Ah. That's a graphics card issue, I think. Hang on. Oh yeah, okay. I'll get to that icon later. 
Um, hang on, let me have a look at my graphics card. Oh, that ain't good. Oh, let's see if I can um, turn the settings down then. We're going to 1080. Oh man. That should make things a lot smoother. Yeah, 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 way better. Oh well, just means... I was thinking about getting another computer to stream from while I have the game running on this computer, but I didn't do that. Um, let me know if that's fixed everything. Yeah, okay, it looks okay. Um, patron accent. You know what, let's deal with the events first. This is the problem with running on 1080p, is that, like, <laughs> the screen fills up so quickly. Um, Aftermath of Harren Hall. Yep, that's the one. Okay. The reign of my father, King Ares II, has become a nightmare for the lords and ladies of Westeros. I'm going to hide the alert box, because um, everyone's gone over to Twitch to follow. <laughs> um, thank you for doing that, by the way. Um... The reign of my father, King Ares II, has become a nightmare for the lords and ladies of Westeros, and for all the people of the Seven Kingdoms. His unpredictable outbursts, fueled by paranoia and his obsession with fire, are a liability for the realm and my house. His tyranny has brought House Targaryen to the very edge of our demise, and it must be stopped. I will send ravens to the important houses of the realm that remain loyal to the crown and ask for them to commence for a war council. Hell yeah. Let's do it. Let the ravens fly. <laughs> do the game messages in the old Shift X voice. Okay, we'll do. <laughs> uh, that might get old. Um, who's supposed to be my admiral? Uh, Lucerus Valarian is my marshal. Okay. Um, I'm... Pleasing all of my powerfuls. Hey, it's it's Ricky Lonmouth. Um, sure, this guy. Why not? Are you already overseeing the realm? No. Sure, keep doing that. I'm not too fussed about what you lot are up to. Okay, the strat. I don't have a strat because I haven't played this. Um, I haven't played this, <laughs> so I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm, we're going to figure it out. Um, scholarship th focus. Yeah. Yep. Um. Oh, I need a maester. Okay. Send an extra raven to them, I guess. Petition my liege. Oh, hi. Hi, dad. Um. No, I don't really. Don't really need to do that. Patron aspect. I think. Who makes sense? The crone. I'm thinking the crone for the learning, although diplomacy is also pretty beefy with Rhaegar, so he might steer into that and go farther. Let's go farther. Um, actually, do I want intrigue as well? My intrigue's already pretty crap, and I don't know what an extra, like, one point to my learning is going to do when it's already 27, so let's go farther. We can change it at any time, I think, anyway. Um, a few knights. Who can I force to be a knight? You're a knight now. Hey, kid, you're a knight. Um, so, w what land do I own, personally? Okay, cool. I do have a holding. So, Sharp Point is on the mainland, which means I don't need to ferry everything, which is really, really good. Although, uh, let's see how the events play out before I, like, actually throw myself into battle, because if I get into a battle with Robert, I'm probably going to die. At least that's what I've seen so far. Where are the Zorses? Unsure. Haven't seen them yet. Maybe they're in Essos. It's going to take six days. All right, let's roll. Okay. Uh, new maester. Fantastic. Um, I, I guess we'll just wander down there for now. Council invitation. I've been a loyal and devoted subject. Have I now? 
Oh, sorry, um... Game of Thrones book. My dear son, you have been a loyal and devoted subject, and I wish to reward you for your service. In recognition of this, I hereby I am hereby offering you the position of Master of Laws on the Iron Throne. Should I tell him to get fucked? I think I should. I mean, having a position on the council is useful, like, in world. I'm not sure if it's really that useful in game, though. Why are we already... Oh, right. Where's this? Wow, that fell quickly. Or did it start falling? No, it didn't. Are there any other decisions I should be taking care of? Uh, nope. Uh, I want to have a look at my commanders. We have a military engineer, which is fantastic. Where is... Um... Mr. Valarian, Lucerus Valarian, aggressive attacker, 21, 27. That's pretty bloody good. All right, cool. Um, I think I'm just going to go over here and meet up with Daddy. Is there anything more I can do? I'm already... Oh. No, I don't want to do that. I want to... I'm not entirely sure how that works. Let's just go over here. Screw it. Um, the Harren Hall Aftermath. The ravens were sent, and now I stand before a room full of my father's vassals, contemplating the dire situation I am in. To depose a king. Not just a king, but my father. It seems unimaginable. And yet, before me are those who might just be loyal enough to join my cause. It's now or never. Do I propose that we remove King Ares II from the Iron Throne? I mean, hell yeah, of course we do. <laughs> of course we do that. <laughs> He's going to put me in command of armies anyway. True. Um, I can refuse to be a commander, can't I? That's a thing, isn't it? Yeah, refuse to become captain or commander. So I'll do that when I feel like it. Am I anywhere in particular? Yeah, I'm, I'm in King's Landing. Doing something. Uh... <laughs> Is Tywin there? No, Tywin's over here, being Tywin. Mutton chop moment. Um, I, I want to become Ned's friend. I can't seduce him because um, he's not gay. I wonder if Re they've made Rhaegar straight. Flies in the face of the cannon. Anyway, um, hang on, where's, um, where's that one lady? Do I know where she is? No, not you, you. 60 haha <laughs> nice <laughs> there's no special modifiers here that's interesting oh by the way Rhaegar is beautiful and quick which are two wonderful traits if you want to um, keep the game going rip John Con's hopes and dreams hi Quinn biblically accurate Tywin true here we go the time has come, the plot has been discussed, and now I stand before my councils, my councillors awaiting their reply. My eyes dart back and forth around the room. Many loyal vassals sit before me. Who will join me to put an end to the reign of my father, the Mad King? My question lands like a scorpion bolt, taking all the air from the room. But soon, those around me begin to speak up. Soon. A chorus of support rings out, and yet some among us remain silent. And so my dance with the deranged dragon begins. Um, starts an, an abduct scheme against King Ares, that's cool. And then all of these people who are not going to go through, um, are going to join the plot. Let's point out some notable ones. There's the Danes, Beric Dane of the Torrentine. He's Arthur and Ashara's father, I think, right? Giles Rosby, the old man who coughs himself to death in the Feast for Crows. <laughs> uh, Lucas Fell. Franklin Fowler. Uh, Mathis Rowan. Some, some names we remember. Raymond uh, Mouton. 
I am right about that. I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Right-o. Prince Doran. 41 other agents. Okay, let's have a look at that. 12 months, 85%. Um, looking pretty good. Who else can I invite? Jeremy Riker. Do I really want all these other people? Success chance. Can I make the success chance go up? Nope. Already as good as we're going to get. Um, so I'm not actually in the war. It's just a war going on around me. I'm not going to join it. <laughs> um, is there anything I could be doing? What does Dragonstone have special about it? Some special bonuses for level plus. You know what, I'm going to inherit King's Landing anyway. I don't need to worry about Dragonstone at the moment. Maybe I'll look into it later. I'm not going to join the war, don't worry. Although I'm not sure why I've raised this army then. Maybe I'll just stick out of the way. Because <laughs> I can see some enemy armies. Oh wow, that is not a great start to the war. I mean, Robert's doing better than I did when I was Robert. Oh, he's coming up here. And those are hostile to me. Maybe I'll just hang out. Maybe I'll just stand my men down and uh, not worry about that. Oh wow, rough start Ares. You're supposed to win those ones, mate. Hey, wh what, 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 what are you, wh where are you going? Um, I am gonna tell my dad to get fucked. That way, Robert's not gonna find me on the battlefield and kill me. Petition leads. Hang on, what, what are my options there? Help me resolve the challenges I face. Sincere requests, which con contribute to the good of the realm, are often granted. Um, no. Nah. I'm not interested. Alright, cleaning up. Of course that loathsome Humphrey would cause problems. Who have we here? Just some guy. Just some guy. Um, who's part of the plot to kidnap the king. <laughs> um, he fails to take proper precautions when moving around King Aerys' court and the king is starting to notice. It's only a matter of time until he's discovered. Well, he is paranoid. I guess it makes a bit of sense. By the way, Eric is only 39 years old. Um, <laughs> traces of someone's thinking about will surely stress Eris out. He needs to take the time to do better. Um, I definitely don't want, a, like, even a chance of the scheme being exposed. So we kind of have to just cop that. Which is annoying. Oh well. Um, I remember now that I have things I should be doing. There we go, that'll make it... Yeah, that makes it better. I think. Um, I'll just keep an eye on the war. Ares appears to be losing terribly, which is... Uh, neutral for me. <laughs> Shit. So the scheme was exposed. Which uh, doesn't spell goodness for us. The Harren Hall aftermath. Oh, the event's still going. Oh, there it is. Today, the entire realm weeps. The Mad King Ares II has avoided my scheme to capture him and end his reign swiftly. Did a raven from one of my counselors reach him? Or did the, or did the spider's little birds see, it, see to it themselves? I may never know the truth of it. All I know is that the Seven Kingdoms cannot continue under the tyranny of my father, but now Deposing the Mad King becomes even more difficult. Yeah, I know that the frame rate's lagging. I'm not sure why this is actually, but I can see it. No, why would you open there? Don't do that. Actually, I don't. I have no idea why that's happening. That's crazy. I wonder if it'll be like that on the VOD. Um, war declare on on Liege. Oh, oh, we've started the war. Cool. Uh. <laughs> Um, I didn't know that that's what would happen. That's fun. So this is war against the tyranny. If I win, I become the king because he's get, he gets deposed. Um, seems to be a little better now. Yeah, this, the game seems to be very, uh, graphically intense. I have streamed CK3 before without it being a problem. So maybe it's a issue with them, like how, how much the mod needs to do. 
Um, I know it's not like I have a pithy uh, computer. What happened to Lucerus Valarian? Oh, he's at war with me. Did not side with me. Really, mate? I thought we were mates. I mean, we, we aren't really. Damn, the lag really is bad. Sorry about that. Yeah, I, I will look into getting a different computer to stream from because that's that's not good. Look, I guess we'll just do... Uh, what are you good at? Yeah, yeah, you, you. Go there, you do that. Okay. Who in this game is a horse? I think, we, well, anyone could be a horse. It's all up to your imagination. Um, well, let's raise our troops now. I should have kept that other army raised. What can I do to make the coding light go down? I've already made the resolution as um, here. There we go. Come on. <laughs> Not responding. Cool. That's how you know it's working. Okay. <laughs> Is that better, everyone? It might be better. Yeah, I should have kept that army raised because now I don't have um, Lucerus Valarian's troops. Oh shit, and I don't have any land uh, on the mainland. That's really not good. However, um, I have many many supporters actually where are we in terms of men 28 versus 80 we should win this um i want to have a look at the other war though 28 versus 98 okay that's really not good maybe we shouldn't go directly to king's landing hang on can we get away with okay we will need to ferry the men maybe we should go directly to king's landing what's the garrison here 76. Okay, we're definitely not going to be able to do that unless we meet up with some allies. Um, oh no. That's not... Quick, Duran, help. Uh, what am I... Yes, I, so I kept that guy. That's really good. I think what I should do is immediately try to... Uh, that's going to take too long. So is that. Say, Rosby. We're gonna have to ferry the troops anyway. Unless I go directly to Driftmark. Much better. Fantastic. So it was the quality. Yeah, that looks way better. Wow. Um, let's go here. No. Why would you do that? What's... Why would you do that? Don't be silly. Do that. So, we're getting new allies every day. Oh my goodness. That's fantastic. Sorry, I need to do this just to keep an eye on stuff. How much is this going to cost? 205. I don't have that much gold. Um, we're doing it. Because I can't afford to go broke. My, fr my friend, Tom Connington. Oh, no, that's John Connington. <laughs> Imprisoned by Thomas Weller? How dare you? Johnny got in prison. That ain't good. Bet he's thinking about me, though. 
Tom Connington. They should rename him. You know how when you're reading a Dance with Dragons and you're going from a John chapter to a John chapter? I don't think there are any that are actually next to each other. But if we called him Tom Connington, you know, we wouldn't run into that problem. Envoys of the Iron Bank. My servants bring me word that three envoys from the Iron Bank of Bravos have arrived seeking an audience with me. Intrigued, I agree to meet them. The foreigners look out of place in my hall. Their three-tiered hats and purple robes a stark contrast to my guard's boiled leather. Their accent is difficult to understand, tinged with the colours of the East. Their proposal, however, is plain enough. They offer a choice between three loans, one quite modest, one more significant, and a third for a sum that causes my eyebrow to twitch upward. Whatever I borrowed would have to be repaid with interest, of course. Um, a thousand, wow. Repayment in full be, will be due in 18 months, I can't do that. I would like that one, please. So how much do I owe them? 700. <laughs> let's see what we can do. Oh, so they're... Alright, let's take... What are they doing? Sure. Let's help out with that. Yeah, that'll go really, really fast. Invalid... Oh, sh shut up. Everyone shut up. <laughs> A lot of things just happened. Um... Oh my god, so much has happened. Wait. Did... So it wasn't that sage. Did someone sack King's Landing? I guess that is kind of what I was helping to do. Which is, um, I should have thought that a bit... Thought about that a bit more. Oh, I'm the king. Hang on. Hang, hang on, a lot is happening. Oh my god, sh sh stop. <laughs> oh, hang on. I became a king and then I became a lord. Um, I shouldn't have spammed the escape button so much. Okay, uh, let's read this one. Let it be no f known far and wide from Westeros to Essos and the lands beyond that the Mad King Aerys II Targaryen has been perished. Has perished. Executed by Jaime. Okay, the Kingslayer King slew. Emery Lorch did the thing. Did you do this thing? Oh my god! Viserys got killed as well. No. My kids made it out okay, though. Elia got mountained. But my kids didn't. That's interesting. Oh, Elia, my beloved. Life will not be the same without you. At least the memories remain. The Iron... The, the Iron Throne Court. That's um, a side effect of how... um. Crusader Kings 3 renders titles and how the mod would like to have things named, as far as I'm aware. So, um, it's called the, the Iron Throne Court, which is a... a shame. <laughs> as king, you have new duties and responsibilities. You will now be expected... But I'm not king, am I? Robert's the king, and I'm... So, what happened here is that, um, Ares died... And then the same, so I inherited the Iron Throne, and then the same day, Robert usurped it by ending the war. Um, so this is kind of pointless. Oh shit, pause the game. Oh! Grandmaster of Dragon, Grand Master of Dragonstone, um, uh, pointless. It looks like I'm dead. Um, your grace, the emissary says. The war situation has developed not necessarily in House Targaryen's favour. King's Landing has fallen, and only Dragonstone remains as a stronghold for our defence. This has happened much faster than it did in canon. Um, we could stay, perhaps mount a defence, perhaps even parley with the usurper to keep Dragonstone for our house. Whether or not our negotiations might be heard or a defence might be worth it is a question that hangs heavily over me. It would seem that the best option for what remains of us, and those loyal to us, would be to flee to the, re the free cities and rebuild our power in exile. We must flee to Essos, as kings across the narrow sea. Um... Game over. <laughs> okay, we'll just run that back, I guess. It's the first time I've seen the CK3 game over screen. Exit to menu. 
Right, so that's one of the things that can happen. King for a day is a cool nickname. Hmm. Okay. Step one. Don't become a, com a commander. Excuse me. Um, do this. Do this. Do this. Um, stun locked. Fine. Um, wait, no. Uh, you. Yep. Okay. And a new maester. Okay. Then, do I need to do anything else? Or do we just run it back again? No, what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise my army way earlier. Just so I have more men around. Okay. Um, no. We are learning, everyone. I'm learning. Go away. Um, yep. So basically do the same thing. And hopefully this time the scheme doesn't get interrupted. That's not good. <laughs> Alar Deem is no longer an agent in my scheme to abduct Ares. Alar Deem always getting into trouble. Oh wow, this is just going very terribly immediately. Oh shit, you know what I didn't do? Didn't do that. Didn't make use of my excellent spy master. This is very much not good. New law. High crown authority. Um, fuck you. Yeah, and that's put people into the scheme because he increased crown authority. That's kind of funny. This is mega bad. For Ares. Oh no. Wait, I probably would have been able to turn the tide of that one. Eh. It's a really bad battle. So the thing is, right, I don't want Ares to win the bat to win the war. Or maybe I do, maybe that would be easier for me, but I don't want to like participate in the war, because then I'll die. Um, Robert will, like, there's an event where Robert finds me and kills me, basically. <laughs> um, I guess there's a duel that I could win, but I probably wouldn't. Um, that's how I'm thinking, at least. Um, I'm being a coward. That's, that's the Rhaegar play. Um, oh, maybe it isn't. Maybe I'm role-playing wrong if I do that. I just want to see what happens. Challenge rival to fight. Oh, he's just, he's just come at me. To the aromatic Rhaegar. Fiend! Your crimes against me are reprehensible. Meet me in single combat and let battle judge our differences. Signed, Lord Paramount Robert of the Stormlands. Um, if I decline, I lose a bunch of prestige. <sighs> what do we do? What do we do, gang? Accept? Are we gonna do it? That would be fun, wouldn't it? <laughs> No such thing as playing it wrong. Yeah, I know, but um, there is playing it accurately to how you think the character would. Yeah, let's do it. It's fun. Okay. This will work just like it does in the Legends, right? Um, this fight may only be till first blood. That doesn't sound right. Um, higher increase to my likelihood of success, low increase to my risk of injury. That sounds incredible. Um, 
I do my best to recall the legends in the spur of the moment and try to heft my sword as the heroes of old. It's enough for a solid blow against my surprised foe. Robert counters with a fierce hail of thrusting jabs, almost running me th through repeatedly. My form is good and his is formidable, we're evenly matched with victory balancing on a knife edge. Um... Hmm. So he's at a high increase as well. Medium increase to the risk of injury. So you should probably attack him. I still haven't cracked the dual system. It never made sense to me. Um, I focus on holding off Robert. No, I think I should attack him. Yeah. No increase to my risk of injury sounds good. Yep. Um, his opponent, my, his is fierce and I feel far from victory. I chose the wrong thing. Um, time and again I backpaddle, dodge and weave, always keeping just within tempting target distance. Soon Robert's showing signs of exhaustion. That's good. He counters with a fierce hail of thrusting jabs. Hey, that's the same line from the last one. Um, my form is excellent, and his is formidable. Um... How does that work? You must get your likelihood of success far above your opponents. That's interesting. I mean, it's exactly what it sounds like it is. Um... He's at a high increase, so I need to keep up with his, basically. Onslaught. I mean, his his guard is fierce, but but mine is my form is excellent. Whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> um, medium increase. I don't like having a high increase to my risk of injury because this battle is the first blood. Let's do this. Um. His stance is incredible now, oh my god. I mean, he does have a prowess of 45, and mine is a measly 25, which is still excellent. Why is he using a spear? Is that a spear? They don't have the weapons in yet. Actually, I want to find out. If I check Ned... Yeah, they do have ice. Nice, that's awesome. Nice ice. And hang on, now that now that we're going on a swords tour. No. Thank you. Oh, he doesn't have an inventory. There is no um dawn in the game. Any others we should look for? <laughs> high risk, high reward strat. I mean maybe. He seems close to faltering. Okay. High risk. Yeah. I like that. Oh, piss off. Even my best powerful cleaves seem to have no effects. Robert advances, spear forming an, imp an impermeable barrier until a piercing thrust sends me reeling. Before I can right myself, Robert is on me again, spear flying from my head, haft first till I get a face full of blunt wood. I barely even notice the sword, the sword slip from my grasp. Um. Sure. Okay. I lost. I lost the duel, but nothing happened, really. Except now I'm all stressed out, bro. Um, normally Rhaegar would die, but we didn't meet on the battlefield. That was just he challenged me to a duel, and then we met up somewhere halfway between where we live. And, like, he's currently here, so I assume we met around this part of the Blackwater Bay. Sounds good. Oh, I'm not even wounded anymore. So it was just an in a hit to my pride, really. I don't know how he found me. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, Varys. 
While Varus' ability to make friends has proven invaluable in my scheme, that's hilarious. He is not quite as careful around others as he should be. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Don't be silly. <laughs> he is too fond of dropping vague... Okay, that's true. <laughs> And if someone were to start asking questions, there's no telling what he would divulge. Um, yeah, no, we definitely just keep Varys on. Oh, so Duran's won this battle. That's good. But he's about to get crushed by Ned. Oh, nope. They didn't even win that battle. I will catch the fabled white carp. Um, my wife Elia stops me in the corridor. Isn't she in King's Landing? Where am I? Am I also in King's Landing? No, I'm in Dragonstone. That's good because it's about to get sacked. Um, my wife Elia stops me in the corridor, grinning from ear to ear. In her hands, my love, we are busy. We're, we're dealing with stuff. Um, in her hands are two fishing poles. Come fishing with me today, dear husband. I promise you will love it. What the fuck? It's been a while since I took a breath and escaped the hustle and bustle of the castle. We're trying to abduct my dad and, and do a coup. Let's go fishing. Um, I kind of do want to lose stress. However, I am Rhaegar. And Rhaegar, he seems like a pretty stressed out kind of guy. Like he has a lot weighing on him. Let's do it. I caught a giant fish. Hell yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh, I'm imprisoned. I don't know how that happened. Probably just because it's what happens um, to all of the... Um, does it happen to all of the rebelling... To all of the... Almost, stop. <laughs> yeah, it happens to everyone who's on side with... Um, Ares, I think. Okay, let's read this first. Defeat, War of the Usurper. To the miserable Prince Rhaegar, um, you, 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 we, we beat you. Oh, wait a minute. Is it that Ares gets deposed and then the war ends, which is why he's, you know, sending this to me? I don't know. So I've been imprisoned. Ellie has been murdered, probably by Amory Lorch again. No, nope, Gregor. Wait, no, it's Gregor the first time as well. Our kids made it, but let's not expect that to last. And the same thing. Okay, game over. Um, right, how am I supposed to do this? Maybe I, maybe this is why I actually do need to participate in the war. Right. Setting up again the same way. Okay, so parts of the council are completely randomized. Um, nope. And, yeah, you, why not? And before I forget, you're going to help support schemes. Okay. I'm going to raise my men on the mainland. And we're going to go there. Also, before I forget. There we go. Okay. Getting faster at this. Oh, they're already going. Yep. Okay, so I'm not even going to bother participating in that. So, um, let's just join the war. 
like for realsies. Okay. We're not going to hit them in the Stormlands. I'm going to follow Dad's troops. Although there's huge hosts coming up from Dawn and the Reach. Maybe I should meet up with Mace Tyrell. Or yeah, I'll help out with that siege because I have a military engineer, I think. Oh, he's, he's different this game. I do not have a military engineer. I mean, nothing wrong with an organizer. Oh, what are we doing? Uh, yep. Let's help out there. Let's help out here. I'm not gonna lead the troops myself. Why would I do that? I'm not as good a commander. Does the con does the destruction of King's Landing event only occur if you play as Ares? Well, the event still happens. I think. I think it can still happen. It's just that I'm not in control of it. Okay. Did we get caught with our pants down? Where are you guys going? What are you... What's going on here? So there's this army. There's probably another bigger one in there. Mace is meeting up with Dawn. Uh, Doran. Whatever. Um... I say we try and help out up here. Oh, the Wentz joined them. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad we left the Stormlands. What, what, what are you doing? You didn't have enough money for that. Where, where do you possibly think you're going? Okay. Well, that means that we're, we don't have a massive army we're meeting up with. And we're about to get stranded. No? Okay, up we go. Um, spouse, claim of convenience. My wife, Elia, eagerly brings a man before me. My lord, allow me to introduce you to Gerald! Claim it to the lordship of Cloveridge. Gerald bows before me and says, It is an honour, my lord. It's Prince! It's Prince. Sadly, Cloveridge will most likely remain out of my grasp without a beneficiary on my side. Guy? There is bigger shit going on. Um, I do not care. However... I assume... Yeah, no, these guys are just serving Robert, so I'm not going to help him out. Um, yeah, I'll just send him on his way. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So, where's that massive army gone? I'm starting to think that Ares isn't a very stable genius. Oh, it's here. Okay, cool. Oh, it's fight time. Oh, battle at the Ruby Ford. Oh, no. <laughs> Whoopsie doopsie. Maybe it's not going to go that differently this time. Yeah, nah. Oh, uh, whoops. Hey, Titus Blackwood got hit by Alice of Thorn. That's fun. And by fun, I mean we're about to lose a massive battle. Maybe it is me who's unstable. It's impossible to know. Oh boy, they were all just in there. Oh, that makes sense. They just left the Gull Town shit. Okay. Right, lesson learnt. Oh my god, you guys got up here quickly. But don't worry, there's still all of these guys. What are you doing down here, guys? You plan on coming up, ever? It's an interesting strategy, is, is all I'm saying. And where's Duran?
Because that's just mace. What are you doing there? Oh, you're going to you were going to siege Storm's End. Okay, fine. Okay. Well, that's an L. Oh no, Robert's there. Am I there also? No, nope, I'm on Dragonstone. Okay. Um, the existence of the plot has been discovered. Okay. Um, bigger fish to fry, however. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> that's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh man oh that's really funny um cast Ellen no you should be the marshal yeah Oh, there. Yep. Okay. Oh. You know what? Yeah, that's funny. Okay, so what happened here? 50 war score at the Battle of the Ruby Ford. Anything exciting happened? John Connington hurt by Dennis. Dennis Aaron. Oh, yeah. John's heir. Anything else exciting? Probably. Okay. Regroup. So we have the upper hand against Ares, but we're also going to lose to Robert <laughs> again. So that's the same as our first um, playthrough. Well, attempt at a playthrough. Okay, I am learning. I think next time it's um, join the war, do all the setup as I've done, but don't but like try to put up a battle. Probably meet up with Mason Duran because I'm pretty sure they're gonna ally with me no matter what when um, it comes to that. Am I making sense? No? Cool. Um, I can't go anywhere. And there's like 80,000 troops hostile to me over there. So I'm just going to sit this one out, boys. And wait for my allies. Do I release and re-raise? 56 days. It's not actually that bad. Let's do it. Because my troops aren't going to do anything useful there, and it's going to cost so much money to um, bring them back, like to ferry them. Okay. Do you guys have to sack King's Landing? Why? <laughs> um, so, again, that would have been Ares. Wait. So that was just Tywin joined the war. No, because Jamie killed Eris. So this is the same thing again. Um, okay. And dead. Okay. New plan. <laughs> and here I was thinking, yeah, we'll just play Rhaegar. It'll be fun. Don't worry about it too much. But no, doing lots of learning in front of a, a thousand people right now. Okay. Game. Do that. Do that. Do that. Don't worry about that. Click that button. Uh, click these buttons. No, not that one. This button and that button. And then look at what we have here. Lucerus Valarian is my spy master. Okay. Um. Yep. Yep. Uh, no. Yes. Okay. Raise the armies. No, not there. <laughs> Do it here. Raise. Join the war. 
Okay. And try to meet up with Duran and Mace this time. Like, no matter how tempting any other choices are, do that. No. Oh, wait. Um. Okay, where am I? That button. Is Lucerus really the best Spy Master available? No. Oh. I'm kind of missing out. Hang on. Look, the Spy Master, um, the scheme is already, like, as good as it's going to get. We just have to, like, get lucky, I think. Um, Robert's still tied up down there. Let's just go into the Reach immediately. Yep. Yep. Let's have a look at that. It's already been exposed? Huh? Oh. Wait. <laughs> We're just going. We're just going for it already. Okay. Um, hang on. I want to see. Um. Oh, no. Oh, no. It wasn't related to the plot. Or, or like, there weren't any other people in the plot. What is happening? I don't have any siege engineers. Um, I just have to see what happens in the coming days. Okay, there we go. I think I still want to try and meet up with Mace, honestly. Alright, let's have a look at this. 46, 36. Come on, more allies. Duran joined against us. Oh no. Why? I'm literally married to your sister. What's up with you? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Um, they're coming this way. I need a commander. I don't have any organizers either. Let's just make it me for fun. And just try to meet with Mace. That's really all we can do. We have the troops advantage, but if I'm caught with my pants down up here... Not good. Oh no. No, don't let them don't let them win any small battles. Don't let Dragonstone under siege either. Oh I lost all my council as well, that's so fun. Um John Lon John Lon Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Off we go. Nice doom stack, Dad. Too bad about what's gonna happen to it. Where are Mace's men? Where is Mace? He's in the reach, obviously. But shouldn't he have a massive army around here somewhere? I'm so confused. Fuck this one province in particular. Okay. Hopefully all of these troops around here are going to attach themselves to my army and follow me when I just decide to go attack Ares. Um, he's in there now. Um, actually, this is a bit, a bit, hmm. Oh, this is so disgusting. Oh, he's not even in the war. Why is that? Hang on. This isn't good. Why isn't he in the war? Shit. If I betray the Rain East to Willis, then he will join the war. And he'll do all the work for me. Um, like, we still have the numbers advantage, but I do want his support against Robert still, and that's not 
guaranteed. I'm not sure exactly how his AI is going to um, work if we do win the war against Ares. And we still have to win that war before Robert wins his war. What do we think? Um, good, good match, Willis and Rainies, or maybe Garland and Rainies is better. I'm not, I'm not giving her to Loris. <laughs> Tyrion and Rainies. Tywin does have more men, but that's probably because his realm isn't border gored to, to Kingdom Come. <laughs> Thing is, like I'm. I'm married to your sister, dude. How do we not have a thing going? Okay, whatever. Actually, would he even accept that? He would. Um. I mean, we just win if we do that, don't we? I kind of want to see what happens. Let's just do it. I mean, it, it's Tyrion, so that's funny. Um. <laughs> But let's just see what, what happens. Um, let's go here. Where are all these massive armies I keep hearing about? Okay, now join the war. Huge. Um, if they join- yeah, yeah, we win. Okay, cool. Oh my god, huge. <laughs> okay. Now all we need to do is win before Robert wins. Which we will do. I think. Okay. That was 20 war score. I finally figured it out. Um. <laughs> okay. Now where do we go? I think our biggest problem is going to be Duran. And even, th like, that's not that big a problem. Let's take care of this, like, some of Robert's troops. Because if we can do that... No, no, let's focus on King's Landing. And if we just happen to bump into John Aaron's army, then... Um, oh no. It looks like that's not what's going to happen, though. Oh, hang on. I don't want them to get that war score. Let's just stand here and see what happens. Okay. Just stand there as a joke. Um. Are you guys... Yeah, they'll, they'll come. Okay, cool. Whoa, one of our valiant soldiers has managed to maim Barristan Selmy. A no-name soldier. Okay. That was a lot of war score again. Awesome. Um... Oh. You're not very good. Oh, why is no one good? Okay, um... Fine. Just take another look around the map. So there's Duran's army. It's nowhere useful. I think we just do it. What are you guys doing? Stop being weird. We want to take this. Oh, red keep. Um, can I split in half and take this also? Yeah. Okay, okay. How's the stream going, by the way? Like, um, frames-wise? I noticed it's been a lot better since I turned the shaders down. And the game doesn't even look that much worse as a result. Um, did we win that? Is that over? Or did someone else win it? I'm confused. Um, how's the other war going? We are winning more than Robert is, which is like all I wanted. Seems good. Fantastic. Glad we figured it out. 13 months, that's far too long. Um, 
No. Um, organizer. Damn it. Okay. Let's put me in charge because that's funny. Anything else we should be doing? They're still there. No idea where Robert is. It's just over there for some reason. Actually, um, so he has 99, I have 145. It's no contest. And all of my troops are localized. Like, if he comes upon us, there's just nothing he can do. Wait. Thank you. <laughs> where are you guys going? The AI is so much fun. Um. What other holdings can we take here? I'm kind of confused, so let's just stand here. Nope, can't take that. Nope, we have already taken that. Yeah, I don't know wh what's going on, so just stand there until we take it. This one's working out a lot better, fellas. And fellets. Hire some trip shit. Yeah, what was I doing? Like, that was literally the first thing I said um, when I was reevaluating my um, issues with the Robert campaign. And I've completely forgotten to do it here. You're right. Um, trebuchets. Um, let's just raise them. Where can I raise them? It's going to have to be at Massey. At a um, sharp point. I'm not a fan of walking my trebuchets. Maybe we'll ferry them. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. Okay, much better. I love that no one else has trebuchets. <laughs> Are there dragons in the mod? Not that I'm aware of, no. Um, it's set in Robert's Rebellion. Where there are no dragons. Cool. Uh, that might not be good. Should we send a detachment down to take care of that? No, no, no. It's not our war yet. Not our war yet. My favorite dinosaur. That's a... It, no one asks you that as an adult, you know? As a kid, it comes up all the time. But when you're an adult, no one asks you that. Thank you for asking. My favorite dinosaur, it changes quite frequently just because I'm such a fan of so many of them and like it, it changes mood to mood. Um, today, today I'm feeling... Now I know they're not all actually dinosaurs, but I'm feeling plesiosaur today. Okay, that's King's Landing. Took... Um, Randall Tully captured Arthur Dane. Can we, can we let him go though? Mark for freedom. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure what that actually does. But hopefully it's something. So nothing really happened from me doing that. It was just a shit ton of war score. What am I supposed to do now? Um, let's find where his armies are. Oh, there they are. Let's just go down there. Let's just have some fun. Down we go. I'm um, not a fan of all this attrition. So let's go this way. Yeah. Much better. Um, we'd have to go around. Let's do that. So they're retreating. Oh no. Robert's very close to winning. Hmm. I wonder, if I go into a battle with an army that's hostile, but we're not at war with, will my AI allies follow me? How's our supply situation? It doesn't look that great. Probably because we've been walking around in the doom stack all day. Just want to see. It appears not.
Uh, yeah, okay, cool. That's so good. Okay. Now we go up here to stop them from doing that. Oh, that was, that was big brain, actually. Uh, this battle. No war score, nothing changed hands, but I did, like, route them, you know. Uh, go through here, then up here. Yep, cool. Where are they going? We'll never know. Aha! I have lost track of daddy's armies. Where are you? There, doing irrelevant stuff. Okay, let's just stand here. No, I want to resupply you motherfuckers. <laughs> um, can I resupply here? Can you not stand on the same province as me? Okay. Wait, shit. God damn it. <sighs> F. Why aren't I carpet sieging? Because I don't want to. Right, same thing. Maybe I should do that, though. I oh, know, I was... I was... Trying a different strategy. It is a double rebellion, yeah. That one was way better, though. Okay. Um, escape to Summerhole. I need some time alone with my thoughts and away from all these people. Summerhold may be in ruins now, but it will provide a welcome respite. Hell yeah! <laughs> Let's do that! Why not? Um, okay, again. Buy trebuchets. Raise armies not there. Raise armies here. Go here. What are my commanders like? We have a siege, we have a military engineer, Ricky Lonmouth. Okay. Um, you do that. Okay. Oh, and I keep forgetting. Do that. We might do that again. Plot to kill Ares. I oh, know I kind of like running it through the events way. What's the likelihood? I can't plot. Oh, there it is. Um, can I have two concurrent schemes? I'm gonna wait until the scripted one starts, and then I'll start that if I can. I forgot to ping in the Discord. Lol. No. I didn't join the war. Okay. Made up with mace. Actually. How are those tributaries going? Go there. We're probably not going to get cut off. I hope we're not. Yep, okay. So that started the plot. I'm pretty sure I can only have the one going. Yeah, we'll, it'll end it. Um, I mean, it'll have the same agents. Just means that I'm in charge. Yeah, let's do it. And does it auto invite everyone? I think it will. Yep. So it's already at 95%, cool. Hang 
What's why, why are there just two dudes there? Where are my tributts? Oh, they're already there. Awesome. I'm dumb. Um. Okay. I sh well, I'm not gonna make it there. 21 days. Oh, go there. Thank you. Um. So I guess the thing now is to just um wait wait till I kill Eris and then win the war. So I did do a test run as Ares, as I've said, um, and won without trying very hard. So I think I'll be able to win, especially if I betroth the Rainy Satyrian. Oh shit! Nothing. Can you guys get your act together? Figure out what you want to do. Between these six armies, they're performing one siege. Um, if I leave, if I just do that and go here, are they going to follow? Are they going to do anything? Hello? You want, don't want to stop all this? No, not interested. Excuse me. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Prince Rhaegar going off into battle for no reason? Okay, fine. Be that way. Lol. Scheme discovered. Um, ill. Disastrous treatment. It takes me a moment to recognize Rhaenys. Don't die! If Rhaenys dies, we're buggered. Um, she is so bruised and swollen, she barely looks human. As I grab her hand, my daughter attempts to speak, but no sound passes her lips. The obnoxious physician is standing in the corner of the room, anxiously wringing his hands. Um, wow, he should be way better than that. We all knew the risks. Hmm... Yeah. Rhaegar would get upset. That's my prophecy baby. That's one of my three prophecy babies. Ooh. It behooves the Lord to spend time at sea with the salty air in his face and a fine vessel beneath his feet. Today sees my personal craft and a small escorting squadron out for drills, practice, and pleasure. Yes, we're out on the waters of good tilth miles from the ocean. Um, the short voyage has been an exhilarating change of pace from life at court when we spot it. A distant plume of water, followed by a small island of wine-dark flesh rolling out of the waves. The greatest beast of all the deeps. A whale! Get the harpoons? Aw, oh, dude. Yeah, let's get the harpoons. Nice. Right, this is going terribly. I think because Mace... Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> he found out that I'm I'm doing... This is why I didn't want to spot to murder him. Um, okay. Plot's still going though? No, nope, plot's over. I say... This is a... That's GG. Even though... We did kill a whale. Ah. 
Um, and join the war. Okay. Buy trebuchets. Move the rally point here. Raise all. Does that include men in arms? Yeah, it does. Okay. And go over there. I'm deeply efficient at that part. Yeah, am I just getting supremely unlucky or, am, or is there like a lapse in strategy here? Like we almost got it with that previous, um, the one before that attempt. CK2 mod is still better. The CK2 mod had years of development on this one. Like this one just came out. See, the thing is, I remember the CK2 mod. I came into it after it had been, you know, released for several years, many years even. So it's kind of, I don't know, a little unfair to judge it against, you know, its predecessor. It'll get there. I mean, we don't even have Essos yet, and we only have the one timestamp, there are no dragons. And those are all things that the CK2 mod added in later on as well. Um, should I help out with that battle? What are you doing, bro? Uh, they should win that, unless there's a surprise secret army in here somewhere. Which there might actually be. Maybe I will. How long is it going to take? Negative 600, 404 days. That's not good. What's up with that? <laughs> um, Maester Pim isn't my maester anymore. Why is that? Whatever. Hey Carmine, how you doing? Yeah, nice. I feel like that will turn the tide of that battle. And we'll just hop on over and stop John Aaron from doing whatever he thinks he's doing. He appears to be meeting with Robert, that's not good. Okay. Where's Mace Tyrell? He's there. Let's meet up with him. Jin's removed some scheme. How are we doing? Still good. Oh, I didn't do the thing. Wait, why? Why are you shit? Is someone better? This guy's better. Absolutely. I'm Rhaegar. Like, people will still love me either way. Um. <laughs> oh, shall we try to get into battle with Robert? are going to be gone in two days. I have to wait for a day. Um, go around. How long is that going to take? Seven days. Yep. Worth it. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Is Robert here? He is. Am I there? No, I'm at Summer Hall. And then Dragon Zone. I guess I've come back already. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh oh. Cool. So I think I've been too fixated on Ares. Well, I should be worried about Robert still. Okay. Um, they're winning that battle. That's a huge hit to Robert. Do we start on Storm's End? Do we do the Mace Tyrell funny?
I've already lost a lot of men just from that battle. Whoops. Um, just want to make sure there are no holes in the strat here. I mean, if Robert makes it up there, that could be a problem. I'd say we just go for it. Three years left. Four level too high. I thought trebuchets were effective. Oh, it's level 16. Never mind. They're up to level 10, aren't they? 15. That's annoying. So there are no siege weapons that you can use. Is it going to crack it? Yeah. So it's going to take three years. Well, we can't do that. Alright, I've started the battle. Hopefully, <laughs> Mace Tyrell can bail me out of this one as well. Yeah, nice. Thanks, Ricky. Let's pick up the pace a little bit. Okay. Okay, we're actually winning the war now. Which, like, I don't want Ares to win. I want me to win. But it's going well. Um... They're still caught up there. No, don't. Just let them... <laughs> You're gonna lose. Uh, 25... 33 actually... Could work. It doesn't give... Great, though. Um... Should I just attach myself to one of Mace's armies? No, let's um, join in the carpet siege and go over here. Okay. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> well, at least it means that there's like no enemy opposition down here. Like we can just wreak havoc in the Stormlands while they go deal with Eris being a nuisance up here. Which... <laughs> that was a fun little escapade, wasn't it? 15 war score. Oh no, that's a lot of agents gone. Has it affected anything? Nah, we're still good. Right, we're, so we did lose all of that and Eris got like wiped out there, which is kind of fun for me. But... Um, we're about to take so many holdings down here. With, like, barely any resistance. They're walking down to the Stormlands from the south. They might make an attempt on King's Landing, so we need to get north. Because if he takes King's Landing, we're done. Okay. Hmm? Well, was the war score that small? I guess we need to take this as well. I'm not too interested in that. We need... We need to stop this. Ah, uh, they're not moving down yet. Hang on, is Robert in here? No, that they're all just there. Okay, we, let's keep doing this then. Who's raiding me? Get fucked. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Declare on Donald Buckwell. What? Because <laughs> Boris Bollock has um, claims that that's so. No, I'm I'm good, thanks. Maybe later. <laughs> oh! Oh! 
It's finally happening. Yeah, the mod's out. You can go play it. There are links in my most recent video. Um, imagine a Hollow Knight mod for this, if only. Um, yeah, let's do it. I cannot believe it worked. It was as simple as letting some of us- Yeah, it was fucking simple, wasn't it? Um, into the castle in the middle of the night. King Aerys is no doubt kicking himself over the poor security. Thankfully, it's a lot better where he is now. Okay. Well. Now what? The Harrenhal Aftermath. Today, the entire realm can breathe a sigh of relief. The Mad King Aerys sits in my dungeon. How far my father has fallen since the days of his youth. The great promise his reign held for the Seven Kingdoms driven off course by madness. And now I must do what is best for all of Westeros. Prophecy tells of a prince that was promised, and today that prince becomes a king. As king, you have new duties and responsibilities. You will now- I'm not going to do that, not the whole thing. That's my Adrian Seldegar voice though. <laughs> um, yeah, let's do that now. So this is the royal court. Okay. First of all, what were you doing, dad? You gotta put these up. Okay. Are we gonna hold court? I mean, we're at war. Hand of the King is Pycelle, not so friggin' likely. Um, let's sort the rest out, actually. To run... Where's Varys? 36. I mean, it has to be Varys, doesn't it? God, Duran is so good. <laughs> He's so fucking good. <laughs> um, I think what I should... Hang on, let's just look at the... State of the war. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. No. <sighs> I should have done it immediately. Move the capital. Yep. There we go. So... Tywin can't be brought in. Actually, where is John Con? Um. So his stats just aren't very good. <sighs> is there any way? I don't think there is, because you can't. Cersei is refusing marriage. Jaime's a king's guard. Tyrion's already betrothed for some reason. Um, the siblings? Nah. Crap. Well, the phrase useless. Quellen Greyjoy? I bet Rhaegar wouldn't do that. Okay. John Con didn't die. Oh, it was? It, it, oh no, that was someone else? No, hang on. No! Slain in battle by Dennis Aaron. John, my boy! He was too young. Bury your queers. Um. Yep. I think making Mace the Admiral is just, um, no, <laughs> um, like a, a matter of duty. Okay, that's the court we were all looking for. Um, Pycelle's no longer my Maester, what? Oh. Honestly, Duran, like, just stats-wise, makes an incredible hand of the king. Can I reassign him? 
Okay, cool. And as Chancellor, sure. I mean, I don't think it's very in character for a king to name the Prince of Dawn Hand of the King, but whatever. Um, okay, now we just have to win the war without Tywin's help. Fuck. <laughs> Okay, they are all here. I think... You know how earlier I said that trying to take Storm's End was going to take too long? I disagree with that guy said. I think we have to. Hang on. Oh, that's not too many men left. Hmm. Where is this? So I have that army. That one. And that one. Okay. So there... Where are you guys going? Nowhere? Nowhere. Um, they're not doing anything about this right now. That's his war score we're going to have to cop for the moment. Do we carpet siege the Stormlands? Carpet siege the Stormlands. I'm not going to raise troops at King's Landing. I'm going to move my rally point to here. Raise all. I think that's all I can do. All I can do is everything. Um, and we're just going to have to try. Okay. Dude, I don't know. <laughs> Burning Tower. Oh, that's Gull Town. Oh, Bear! Bear's on the keyboard, everyone. Hey, buddy. Kind of in the middle of something. <laughs> what a lovely boy. Is the game in general easy to learn? I mean, as far as games go, probably not. Uh, we need more soldiers here. How many do we need? The garrison is 28. We need 400 more men. What's the garrison here? Oh, too easy. Ah. Shit. So what I'm going to do is split off 400 soldiers from here. Uh, let's say that many. Send them there. And then you go here. Okay. There we go. That's a real siege now. Yeah, come on in. Why not, mate? Thanks for the money. Um. <laughs> Sorry, kid. <laughs> I I need that alliance. <laughs> um, what's going on here? Day drinking. Oh my god, the drunken antics of my courtier Thoros of Mir. <laughs> <laughs> have been the subject of court gossip before, but lately he seems to have taken them to a whole new level. Getting drunk by mid-morning, passing out in the castle courtyard, stumbling to the tavern in the afternoon and waking up in the stables with a hangover the next day, Thoros' degenerate behaviour is an embarrassment to all who reside in the Red Keep. <laughs> Why would I kill Tywin? I don't know if I could, actually. Um, I don't want to spend court grandeur. That doesn't sound very Rigari. He said plotting to murder a 14-year-old girl. Um, I wouldn't imprison him. Yeah, no, I, I would talk to him. I would have a little chat with him. Hey, Thoros. We're all worried about you, man. Um... Do we all need to be here? B bros? Is, is that really what we need to be doing right now? Yeah, go there.
two sieges. A plush and exotic carpet. Um, she is trusting, stubborn, content, pensive. Yeah, let's do it. Nice. Yep. Oh, yep. Cheers. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thanks, love. Um, greetings, my implacable liege. My entourage and I have just arrived in the Red Keep after weary travelling. There are important matters regarding the welfare of Great Fork. Okay. Um, that I must discuss with you. I request an audience at your court at your earliest convenience. Sure. What do you want? Um... Thanks for seeing me, mate. I come to you with an urgent request. My land's pale uh, in comparison to yours. Please, mate, spare some of your, your fortunes for, for the humble... Oh, he wants me to pay him for his land. Oh, no, he just wants money. Um... Yeah, nah. Sorry, mate. We are at war. I can't spend that much gold. Lord. Who's this? Oma Blackberry? You want to become this kid's knight? You want him to squire for you? Why? That's weird. Sure. Oh, this track's awesome. Talking about the soundtrack. You know how games have soundtracks? This one's pretty cool. Oh god, it's the same thing. Oh, it's not the same thing. I come to you today with an urgent request. The Lordship of Hearthwood is one of the marches and its defense is your responsibility as well as mine. Your borders are my borders. That's so much gold and I don't have it. Who is this guy? Oh, Lord Catherine. Well, I can't really do that. Oh, oh crap. He actually took all that money. That's not good. That's not what I meant. Um, whoops. Aladim. Aladim's not a knight yet. So what we're gonna do then is um, whoopsie doopsie. Okay, are they done here? No, not quite yet. Oh. If I ransom off some of these lesser prisoners. <laughs> Yo, we got Jorah. We got Brendan Tully. Um, Gwen Corbray is a good one. That does put us back in the black. So, you know, sorry. False alarm. And also all of this going on. Some of the lords are giving me money, which is good. We won a siege here. They're not coming down yet, are they? No, okay. Um.
probably afford to make more trebuchets. It does only leave us with 30 gold though. Maybe I'll hold off on that for now. Can you guys like besiege this place? Is there a reason you're not? Is there a reason you're just standing there? 10,000 men just hanging out. I have siege equipment at Storm's End. There is no... There's no men-at-arms in the game that is that beats Fort Level 16. Yeah. Oh, yeah, true. I could just upgrade the unit size. Um, how much does it cost? Seven. It's the same amount. Um, yeah, let's do it. And I think... Are those my trebuchets? Yeah, they are. Oh, you know what I should do then? Is split them off. Yeah. And send them down here. And that will make that take longer, but that's less important. Actually, you know what? No. This is easily way more important. Siege of Etta Hill, where's that? Up there. They're still not coming down. And we can see... How many men do they have? 80. We have 62. But we are about to get some great war score there. And how's this trucking along? Six months until I can attempt to bring Tywin in. Okay, that's that taken. Go there. That's going to take way too long. Ah, whatever. We've taken this one. Go here. Did you guys abandon your si- <laughs> I fucking hate the AI. <laughs> oh my god. Um... As part of my ongoing plan to murder Jocelyn Swift, <laughs> uh, some of my minions regularly intercept her letters. Yes, the, the letters of a 15 year old, four, yep, she's 15 now. She's had a birthday, everyone. Some of my minions regularly intercept her letters. Due to my expert comprehension of common tongue, I could personally read them rather than relying on secondhand translations. Though it is sure to take time away from my duties. Um, this sounds like a bit of an error because like everyone speaks common tongue. I mean, I also speak High Valyrian, but like it, everyone speaks common tongue. This this is strange. Um, perhaps I could glean insights in this way. I mean, yeah, sure. Not that I think I I need any more chance of success here. Oh shit! Oh shit! Okay. A new translation. More than anything, my quest to be a learned man is teaching me how... Is this connected? <laughs> how much? I don't know. What more? There must be so much knowledge that has been lost to the ages. As books fall apart or languages are forgotten. I think it's not connected and it's just a massive coincidence. Perhaps I could contribute to making a new translation of one of the classic works. Although, what would I, what would I even translate? Hmm. Hippocrates? Diophantus? What do you guys reckon? I think Rhaegar would like to learn about Hippocrates. So this is really bad. That they've just decided to come on over here. I mean, if they decide to just go to King's Landing, they're taking a shit ton of attrition. And it'll probably take them long enough that I can bring Tywin in. But it's a, it's a bit of a gamble on my heart, my part. How long is that going to take? Six months. I'm just going to keep an eye on them. It's a bit of an L for them to not just, like, sail here. They're spending the money to embark anyway. So why not just... Um, you know... Go straight to King's Landing. 
don't really get that one, Bobby. Kind of an... <laughs> kind of posting L's there, Bobby. Let's speed up. Dynastic treasure. It is my responsibility to defend the honor of the Targaryen family and bear its banner. Aerys' personal standard alone will mark the greatness of his line. Um, you know what I didn't do? We need to put a crown on. Okay. Aegon's crown, Aenys, Jaehaerys, Aegon Elder, um, no, sorry, that Aegon Younger, um, Baylor, Aegon Fourth, or Makar. I think out of all of these options, Rhaegar would probably like Jaehaerys the most. Maybe, maybe Baylor? Aegon the first, obviously, he had, he'd have a big boner for. They all have the same buffs, so it doesn't matter in a gameplay sense. I'll stick with Jaehaerys. Oh. Yep, let's kill the child. Um... Ah, shit. <laughs> they found out it was me. What's the murderer trait do? Minus 15 general opinion. Whoops. Anyway, will you marry Tyrion to Rhaenys? Cool, thank you. Cool. Now, will you please just join the sodding war? <laughs> Thank you. Nice. Okay. Ugh, so Humphrey Swift doesn't like- wait! She was the niece of Harry Swift? It's not even- Man, he really hates Tyrion, doesn't he? Um... Oh, wow, I'm really stressed. Is there anything I can do about that? Not immediately that I can see. Anyone know what happened to Liana? I can't wait to see the events around this. Um. I would like to lose some stress. That is the most important thing to me at this time. Okay, what's, what's Tywin doing? Is he doing anything? Tywin? Oh, oh, there he goes. Has that turned the tide? Yeah, it has. We now have more men than them. Draw a Mormon escaped from prison. <laughs> Yeah, let's do that. Oh, Tywin's just come to help. Help siege the Stormlands down. A spy was discovered. Daenys was caught searching for my secrets in the darkest corners of my court. Huh. That's fun. Refuses to expose who's spying on me. Um, rotten a cell, banished. Killer. Um... Yeah, sell. Deal with that later. Okay. Um. Now, if I go here, are you all going to stay where you are? I don't want you abandoning your seat. You know what? I'm just going to go there. Why do they all just move around like that? It's so silly. Oh. Um. How do cultural fascinations really work in this mod? Are they just paused? Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. 
mean, maybe it's not so simple as their paws. Let's have a look. Oh! So... Wait, no. Hang on, that's not my culture. Go to my culture, please. There we go. And I am the cultural head, right? Oh, there is none. Oh, because there's no land associated with it. Westerosi Valyrian. Okay, that's an interesting dynamic. Anyway, um... Oh no. They're becoming seaborne again. If we can wait, let's lose a little bit of stress. Where are you going now? Oh no. Wait, no, that's actually not that bad because all of our men are down here. And we're about to take Storm's End. Um, I'm going to move these guys in a little bit. Oh, they split up their men. They have a lot of people up here and they're bringing a lot of people down here. This is awesome. No! Okay. I moved the wrong army. Oh shit, I should probably be educating my children. Uh <laughs> We take Storm's End. That wasn't even that much war score. Storm's End, 6.5, because we need to take that. Okay, um, what's the garrison here? 625. Split off the trebuchets and one group of levies, I guess. Join them, stand there, the rest of you up here. No! Oh my god! This fucking pop-up. <sighs> Fuck yourself. He has Rowdy. Would Rhaegar want to be raising a warrior king? Probably because he thinks that Azor Ahai is going to be born from his line. Yeah. Um. Okay, there we go. Bringing in all the men, please, all the men, please, all the men. Okay, okay, okay. It's all good. We win. We win. 21 war score. Oh. What happened? Man, Stannis do be a bit thick. Um... That's fantastic. You guys merge with you guys. And... I don't know. Go here. You go here. It's a foregone conclusion at this point. Unless something drastic happens. Um, I'm having the notes for my translation of the treatises of Hippoc Hippocrates read back to me when I snapped to, to with a sudden understanding. Scribe, add the following commentary. Um, <laughs> it's really funny <laughs> that it's uh, comparing the works of Hippocrates to um, the seven-pointed star. Let's go with that one. Uh, 
Um, okay. So how many L's did we post in the Vale? 46. 46 percent. And they're still going up there. But I feel like when we're done with all of these storms, like storms end places, that's a lot. At least I hope it is. Um, we probably do need to retake a lot of that land at some point. Not again. Uh, nah. Just nah. Um, stop. Okay, fine. I get it. Somewhat, everyone wants Viserys for some reason. Um, you want him to squire for your son, Sir Robert Leicester? I mean, that actually sounds pretty cool. Yeah, do that. <laughs> um, oh yeah, I didn't use that. Because I wasn't sure what, what would be useful for us. I think the Scholar route makes sense for Rhaegar. Yeah, this, this perk is friggin' awesome. It's just that this is useless. That's okay. That's fantastic. We're gonna have to get them all anyway. Oh. Oh, where, where are you guys? You know King's Landing was right there. <laughs> okay, fine, whatever. We'll just continue carpeting the Stormlands. Yeah, your brother and cousin. Um, Ares is my father and uncle. <laughs> That's that. We're going to have to march north at some point and just retake everything. And I'm just going to have to arbitrarily choose when that is. Got three months here. Who sent you? Varys has discovered another spy, Naaman. Naaman. Hang on, who was that? It's married to this lady, who appear to be just random courtiers of mine. Go in the cell. Um... So we've got 24 days, 4 months, 3 months. I think once those sieges are all done, we just go. Um, how much gold are you asking for? 280 gold? I don't want to lose Renown, that just doesn't work for Rhaegar. So 280... Cool. Wait, what? Someone has a favor on me. Ah, uh, he's alright. <laughs> An oath fulfilled. Jonathor, the son of Lord Damon of Trident's Mouth. That's uh, Damon Darry. So we've got Jonathor Darry here. Has fulfilled his solemn oath and has departed this world under the mantle of his white cloak. Jonathor died in captivity. You know, who's... Who had him imprisoned? Anyway, Jonathor was a skilled knight who acquitted himself with a, a with aplomb in the service of his liege, me, being well regarded for his skill at arms. With his departure to the seven heavens, the duty now falls to fill the vacancy amongst the renowned ranks of the White Cloaks. Um, greatest knights in the realm, heirs of the powerful lords, more pressing matters at hand. Um, what do we think? What do you mean, raise more armies? I don't have any unraised soldiers, and like, I could buy more men at arms, but there are no mercenaries in this game.
I think I'll just upgrade my trebuchets, honestly. Yeah, John Connington's dead. We can't name him. He was slain by Dennis Aaron. Um, heirs of powerful lords. I think that's the more fun option. <laughs> Wait and appoint the blackfish. Um, more Kingsguard will die. I wouldn't worry. Just, uh, like, we'll have our chance. Also, he's in the prison. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I I'll, I'll let him go. Because <laughs> we like the blackfish. God, I don't like these events. Um, they're annoying. Make Victarion join the White Cloaks with cheats. Um, I've turned debug mode off. We are not cheating today. Which is strange for a Glidus. Gleam is a video. Okay, that siege is done. I want to just keep an eye on this. It looks like we're going well. Oh, it's Wendover Productions. Um... Did anyone not make that joke? It's over here. So that's me done translating um, <laughs> Hippocrates' works. <laughs> can turn them off in decisions. Oh yeah, I can too. I can disallow petitioners. Does it change anything else? No negatives? That's good. Um, let's increase that one. Murder Jate Blackberry. I mean, his name's Jate. I wouldn't be too worried about it. Bestowing the mantle. I don't know any of these guys. Um, so Gerald Hightower has found for us. Alton Hulk. The Hulks, of course, being the Lords of Bent Branch. Two are vassals to the Stokeworths. Or Randall Hastwick. Who are vassals. Who, who, of course, are the Lords of Harmony. That's cute. Who, of course, answer to the, the Varnas, who are vassals of the Tyrells. Or Donald Dunkel. Now, he's got the coolest name. And he serves the Duskendale people, the Rikers. Um, man, Rhaegar does have a bit of drip going on, doesn't he? Please be the most capable. He is not the most capable. Eight, nine, fourteen. I mean, he's also very old, whereas Alton Hulk is 21 years old. Are you a proven knight, sir? Formidable fighter? I think Alton the Hulk has to be the one. Dun, 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 dun. 34, 52, and you? 37. Cool. Man, what are you guys doing? Stop doing things. Oh, he doesn't want to. Okay. No, fair enough. I just assumed that because Gerald Hightower had brought me, you to me that you did want to. Kind of sending us mixed messages. Um, Varys has come to me with news that Shayla Pym um, is plotting against Jade Black, but I, I so don't care. Um, no one paid me to care about that. Okay. So that's that and that. Making good progress. 26 days left on that. I say... We go... Uh... So we just go there as soon as this one's done and don't start anything new yet. Yep. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Okay. David Massey... He's pretty good. Ralph. <laughs> Simon. David Massey. My chosen 
uh, guy. Wait a minute. Nice. Cute. My King's Guard David kneels before me, swearing to exchange his life for mine, to obey your word and keep your confidence, to speak their mind or hold their tongue at your back beck, and to defend the honor of your name, your dynasty, and your throne. He rises, now pledged toward you with all his strength and to give his blood for yours. The pronoun mixture there, that's that's fine. Um the sister's reaction. I must thank you, my implacable king, for bestowing the honor of serving your royal guard onto my brother. My forcible acquaintance, Dalera, approaches me after the investiture of the newest member of my king's guard, David Massey. Indeed, protecting me is an honor. Um, three, two, one. Okay. Let's go. I'm sick of this. You guys coming? Yeah, nice. <laughs> Actually, how many troops does he have here? 73, 97. That is if all of his men are there. Which I think... No. Does that look like 73,000 men? 20... 30... That's another 15... Uh, 15. I don't think that's 75. What did I say? 73. The predicted arrival time is just off. It's just a bit buggered at the moment. Don't know what's going on there. No one paid me to do math. I mean, lots of people have paid me. I'll do super chats once the war's over, is my idea. Are you guys coming? Oh, shit. Battle's happening. Let's go. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes. Oh my god, what a slaughter. Slaughter at Battle of Diaden. 47 war score. Oh, I love it. And now we just retake a few of these and we're done, right? Um, which one of you has the tribachits? You. Merge with you. Go there. Oh no, I merged all of them. Yeah. Uh. No. Okay. <laughs> Calm down. You go there. You go there and also split in half and go actually also there. Doesn't really matter. Why are they retreating up here to here? That's weird. Oh. Wait. Taiwan's not in the war. Oh, he's just a vassal. That's right. Lol. <laughs> no, could you imagine? He'd kill me. Right, he hasn't actually formally joined the war. Because he's just a fast... Like, when he did join the war, like, the mega war system just put him under me. Where even is Robert? That's a great question. Robert is... He's up here. He was there. Can you play as the Minor Lord? Yep, you can play as anyone who owns land on the map. You can play as, like, some random guy here. You can play as... You can play as wildlings, I think. I actually haven't tried it yet. You can play as this guy. You can play as... Anyone here. You can play as this guy. You can play as this guy. Anyone on the map. I think I'm just happy to let that battle play out. Although it is Tywin's army. Is that the Roblox oof sound that I just heard? <laughs> uh, 
Uh, maybe let's not uh, embrace them there. Oh god, no, you guys aren't... Hang on, how quickly can I get there? Seven days. I feel like that's wrong. I don't think I'm gonna get from here to there in one day. Why is it fucked? Oh. Well, you go there, anyway. I think we'll be able to finish up before they can do any damage. 29, maybe not. That'd be really annoying. Oh yeah, get the harpoons bro. Nice, we did it again. Please don't, just, just don't. Ninety-eight. Which one of these is faster? Three months, five months. I'm gonna send my trebuchets and some men here. The rest are gonna go down to here. Thirty-six days. Nice. Okay. 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 We've got it. That's it. We win. Unless, unless they show up with a shit ton of trebuchets out of nowhere, but I don't think they will. Five months, three months, 22 days. That's it. At least I hope that this one siege is enough to bring us to a hundred. Damn you, Stefan Penrose. Oh, yes. Okay. 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 <laughs> Stannis is doing fine, I believe. Yeah, there he goes. Married to Tyshara Lannister, who's um an aunt of Tywin's? That's Jason? Wait, or was, that's a different taste. Yeah. Um, f first, second cousin once removed? That's Gerald. Oh no, just second cousin. Interesting. Anyway, that was the war. Um, let's just wait for things to settle a bit. Okay. Everyone's back. Um... <laughs> At long last, we have achieved victory in the face of those who sought to rebel against me and disrupt my righteous rule. Now that the traitors are within my grasp, the time has come to choose what fate shall befall them, whether to show them mercy or to punish them for their transgressions. Bring them before me! Alright, we got Bob. Night King takes no L's. Night King wins every time. Okay. The War's Aftermath. This is the interface that they've put together to let you choose what to do with all these people after they've lost a rebellion to you. Or after you defeat them in a mega war. So. What do you think Rhaegar would do? I think... Hang on, does Stannis have any children of his own? Yeah, he has Maya, but that's it. Did they get rid of the age that doesn't didn't the age used to show up here anyway i think rhaegar he's not gonna execute the entire family that's for sure yeah i think that robert's gonna go to the wall and stannis is gonna is gonna become the lord of storm's end 
We're not going to take anything. I just don't think that's it. Maybe we take Maya Stone? Although I don't think Stannis is really going to care about that. Do we take his armor? No, nah, no. Rhaegar would let him keep that, I think. My will be done. Breaks Robert's betrothal with Lyanna Stark. Notice that one. Wait. Oh, it's Jantos Corgal. Sorry, I, I saw J-A-N-O and S. I thought, wait, Janos? <laughs> That's not supposed to happen yet. Um, let's do it. Now, Ned. Um, supposedly, Rhaegar likes Lyanna and probably doesn't have any ill will towards Ned, probably is incredibly regretful that his father killed Ned's father and brother. I don't think he would do anything to Ned. I think it's just a complete pardon. Oh, does he, does he have a son? He does. A two-year-old son. I think... I think Rhaegar would just let Ned go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we have Hosta Tully. Um, hang on. how's Lysa and John gone? Oh, they have a, they have a daughter already. <coughs> Rhaegar probably wouldn't even have any feelings about Hosta Tully. I think. It's possible Rhaegar would take Edmure as a hostage, or a ward. And that's it. Um, John Aaron, also similarly, I feel like Rhaegar would, at least the, the idea of Rhaegar that we're presented with in the story, right? He would um, see that John was just the father to Robert and Ned, whose honor had been absolutely besmirched. You know, Ned's family was killed by Ares. Um, and John was just looking out for his foster children. Um, I could take his daughter hostage. Heir to the Veil hostage, always a good thing. I don't think he'd send him to the wall. He's commanded to break guest right, absolutely good point. Yeah, like we've already assigned the blame to, um, to Robert. Robert has been punished, he's been sent to the wall for the rest of his days. There you go. The Tower of Joy. Robert's rebellion has been broken, and this pointless war at last is over, but I cannot rest. Lyanna remains where I left her, far south in dawn, far away from the fighting. I must go to her and see that she is well. I must see if the prophecies have been fulfilled. Rhaegar may have had a, um, ulterior motive in sending Robert to the wall. Um... <laughs> Mm, fine. <laughs> yeah, sure. You can pay homage to me. That's that's whatever. Um. So the council. I don't want to piss Duran off, and Duran's a really, really good hand anyway. Balon hates me, which is funny, but not really that important. Um, important vassals. Ned, Tywin, Balon. I mean, Tywin... We can just get rid of, um, J Julian... What's this guy? Julian Quince? What a stupid name. Make Tywin the master of coin. I mean, that's... I like how that's sort of beneath him. I, I like that. <laughs> 
Um, Master of Vores. Oh, right, I can't do that. I mean, he's old, isn't he? Oh, he's only 43. Um, Stannis is, as, um, what would this be? Just a marshal. That's weird. Didn't really have a way to work that in. We'll get to the Tower of Joy, don't worry. I'm not going to kill Varys. Varys is fun. I like having Varys around. <laughs> I think putting Ned on the council makes sense, but Ned wouldn't... I don't think Ned would want to be on the council. I think naming Stannis makes sense. Um, ransoms, ransoms all around. Everyone pay me. Everyone give me money. Yay. Okay. The Tower of Joy stands tall among the Red Mountains, a symbol of hope amidst a landscape of desolation. The realm has bled deeply, but this war will be a, but a trifling skirmish compared to what I fear comes next. But in Lyanna there is hope. In our child there is a fire to burn against the coming ice. Lyanna's cries carry me up to the staircase. Her pain a spur in my soul. I reach the top and enter a room that smells of blood and roses. There's blood everywhere, between her legs, on the bed, on the floor, and there is a child. A babe, red-faced and crying, and alive. Lyanna, though, is pale. The strength to scream has gone from her, and all that she can manage is a whisper. I go to her, bring my ear close to her lips, take her, take her hand in mine. Promise me, Rhaegar, she says. Um, alright. Couple of options here. Couple of options. Um, so, I'll take care of the kid, but his parentage has to be a secret. Or, uh, the child is of my blood and will be raised as such. And he'll be a Waters. It'll be John Waters. How old is he? Oh, he's born literally today that makes sense we just got oh no a month and a bit ago um or we legitimize him and he becomes jaharis that's a big w from the from from the um mod devs making him jaharis i don't know if she can be alive this is my first time seeing her um what do we reckon, chat? Legitimize. A lot of people are saying legitimize. A lot of people are trying to play out the Jon Snow power fantasy. Yeah, yeah, everyone's doing it. Fine. Okay. Um, <laughs> anyway, back to the more important matter at hand. The feast at Stokeworth. Um, oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> we're, we're just the king now. <laughs> That's all it is. We've done it. That's pretty cool. Um, we don't have a Prince of Dragonstone. I still hold Dragonstone. But... Who sh Does the game have a thing... I don't know, I always ran into the problem in CK2 where I gave um, Dragonstone to my heir and um, then it just like kind of became a cadet branch that I couldn't get it back from unless I wanted to like revoke it or start a war because, you know, the airship didn't always go as planned. So I don't know. We'll just hold on to it until it becomes a thing. So there's, there's John... He looks pretty fucking gaunt. Um, oh yeah. So Liana's dead. Ellie is still alive. So, um, I, I think, I guess we'll just <laughs> keep going, right? <laughs> Can claim titles easier, true. Um, right. Have a poem about mourning. 
because your sister just died and me dad killed your brother I want to be Ned's friend let's try and befriend Ned um I think you have to there's a lifestyle thing to be, to be actually befriend someone so let's just sway him maybe or is there another route you can take I think it will just sway him okay well that was that um easy really I, I had no problems at all can we have John Squire under Ned that's a good idea however John was literally born yesterday so I, I would take it a take it a little easy on that one let's have a look at what we can do in the red keep which has an incredible model by the way look at that this whole thing is magnificent. Um, we're not upgrading any of that. I think it's just the standard upgrades, really. Yeah, first try. Why does Stannis look like a Chad? Because he is a Chad. Like, what, what kind of question is that? <laughs> Where's the option to become the Night King? I think it happens if you keep playing, if you play on. Which we might do. What's the time? Uh, maybe we won't do. <laughs> Maybe I'll uh, read read chats and be on my way. I'll let it play out for a little bit. Role play a little. A strange noise. I arrive back at my castle after a long, lonely work walk. Another year passed. Another year older. I was born this day twenty-seven years ago. Oh man mood the older i get the more i cherish the relationships i've cultivated over the years so it saddens me that i've not heard from my wife elia or any of my friends today i mean arthur dane died didn't he or was that a different game no arthur dane is still alive and so is ricky um i trudge along to my chambers loneliness impeding my lazy feet when I hear a clang and hushed whispers from down the hallway. Yeah, John Connington did die. Um, who could that be at this hour? Oh my god, it's a surprise party! All my nearest and dearest friends have come together to wish me well as I begin this next year of life. There's an even an entire table laden with saffron cakes. My favourite! Here I was thinking that everyone had forgotten about me. Mate, you are literally the king. <laughs> I can't believe that Elia went to all the trouble of arranging this in secret. I had not a clue that such a thoughtful surprise was being planned at all. My friend Arthur approaches me, struggling to carry three beautifully wrapped packages. Ever the trickster, he says, I've got three gifts here for, for the choosing. One shall be yours, but which shall it be? This is mega wholesome. Um, well, I, I've always wanted to take Arthur Dane's big package, so let, let's take that. It was a sponge on a stick. <laughs> Kids love it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the best timeline. <laughs> well, let's equip it. <laughs> um... That's got me thinking. Oh. I'm busy, aren't I? Yeah, I'm busy. That's why I couldn't do it. All right. Now, what I really, really want to do is hold a grand tourney. Shall we watch every joust? Let's watch every joust. The tourney of King's Landing. The lords and champions of the realm have arrived, ready to test their mettle in the lists. A hundred shields hang on a hundred pavilions, the heraldry of houses great and small on proud display. Any warrior with a lance and a horse may enter, but only the most skilled will advance to the later jousts. Let us begin. Um, what's this? Ransom? Yeah, sure. Wait, Jamie Lannister was in prison? <laughs> um, yeah, absolutely, Stannis. You can, you can pay homage. Um, 
Any, what else is here? Imprisoning criminals? Not too interested. The preliminary rounds have ended and many brave competitors are left licking their wounds and nursing their bruised pride. Those who remain in contention ready themselves for the final rounds. The, the tourney grounds are abuzz with anticipation as spectators lay their wages and competitors make their boasts. Fortune favours the bold! Lord Franklin Fowler and Master Roland, just some, just Master Ro Roland, enter the lists and ready themselves for the next tilt. Their mounts pour at the ground, eager to charge. Um, is Rhaegar a betting man, do you think? Hey, where's, where's Cersei? Oh, she's married to- Oh my god! <laughs> she's married to Aaron Greyjoy! <laughs> oh man, that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Hi, I'm little Theon! Um, anything else funny happen? I'm John Aaron. You married to her again, Tyshara Lannister. That's actually kind of um a beefy alliance there. If it's actually is, it doesn't look like it is actually. Anything here, Ariana? Oh, adult. That okay? Sure, whatever. Yeah, no, too young. Um, Mace. Anyone? Nope. 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 Fair enough. I don't think Rhaegar would bet on stuff. Man, it is, it is so funny to picture Cersei stuck on Pike for her life. Oh man, she would hate it so much. <laughs> I only just now noticed the awesome background. Sick. Damn, that's awesome. Holy crap, they put in so much work. <laughs> um, wow. I don't think we're going to bet on anything. Let's just watch. From the seat of high honor, from my seat of high honor, I watch Lord Franklin triumph over Master Roland. The victor will advance to the next round. It was a thrilling tilt. Now we've got Hosta Tully and um, Ulrich Graves. Um, Hoster posted an L. Master Tommen, who's the mayor of something, and Lord Tippled Heatherspoon. Uh, let's see what wins. Master Tommen, there you go. Lord Lucian Carmfort and Yon Royce. Bronze Yon Royce. Surely. Surely Bronze Yon wins this. Yeah, easy. Easy. Master Harmon, Master I do not care. Who do we have here? Marolf w w Waterman and Randall Tarly. I wonder who's gonna win. No way. Cop that, Randall. Um, this random guy called Lothar who is a giant versus Harris Hunt. Ooh, an unrelated event. While his numerous attempts to carry my favor have not gone unnoticed, I cannot help I cannot feel but irritated by Lord Perkins' sudden interest in me. You are you queer? Um I cannot shake the feeling that the man's intentions are not pure. Oh, okay. Um the other thing it could have been. Um but he still has a certain charm. Okay, maybe maybe it is the first thing. Um Nah. Rhaegar's a lonely boy. What? The giant lost? Oh my god. Master Morgan, Lord Glyndon fell. Starting to regret having watched every tilt. Oh, Ned's paying homage. Thanks, Ned. Ulrich Graves and Franklin Fowler. Right, we're on the second round now. 
my money's on on the fowler come on let's go let's go 150 gold oh thank god <laughs> i didn't know how much the bets were Ah, uh, you think yon royce i'm not gonna bet i should have bet i don't care about this one okay i also don't care about this one Glendon fell and Harmon don't care. Glendon fell one. Yon Royce Franklin Fowler. Now that is a fantastic matchup. What's this religion? Weirwood of the Seven. Organized Faith of the Seven Faith. It's practiced there. Anywhere else? Probably not. Oh no, that makes sense. Yeah. Huh. So it's like a syncretic religion? Or rather, like a fusion of um, First Men rites and Faith of the Seven practices? That's interesting. Lord Franklin and Yon. Okay, I'm not going to bet on this one. It's too close to call. Yon Royce won. We all should have known. Glendon fell. Yon Royce. Again, it's too close to call. I'm not putting money on it, but Yon Royce is going to win. Oh my goodness. I'm glad I didn't put money, money on it. The final joust is contested and the stands erupt in raucous cheers at its conclusion, with Lord Glendon emerging the victor. My tourney has been a glorious affair, and while Lord Glendon's name will doubtless echo in the minds of small folk and noble alike, my name too will perhaps linger in their memories. I am their king, after all. Can you make religions like vanilla? You mean like, can you have Catholics? Can we make a, like this part of Westeros Catholics? <laughs> That'd be kind of cursed. <laughs> um, no, don't do that. Actually, I probably should do that. Oh, I'm so learned. I'm such a philosopher king right now. Let's hold court. Philosopher kings love holding court. The whole throne room falls silent as my vassal lord Lewis Corn enters triumphantly, followed by two struggling servants who are dragging a claimed chained bear. I should put my glasses on for this. Um, smiling proudly, Lewis exclaims, My lord, I present you a gift worthy of the mightiest ruler in the world. This magnificent beast was hunted in the forest of long grass, and now I offer it to you as a symbol of my devotion and your unparalleled power. That's pretty cool. Um, now, Rhaegar. Does Rhaegar keep the bear? Does he refuse the gift? Or does he turn the bear into a carpet? Hmm. God, I love the throne. What does it do for us? Bit of prestige and court grandeur. Dread and court grandeur. I can make Dontos Hollard ride it? That's hilarious. Oh, look at that. Keep spare. I'm seeing a lot of keeps bear. No, he wouldn't kill the bear. I think I'd like to keep it. Let's keep the bear. Um, the Republic of Dragonstone. I beg your pardon? My city of Black Glass Port grows rich by our burgers. Um, dealings with the trip, trading ships which fly, ply the havens along the Iron Thrones coast. We've made our town and you prosperous and deserve greater influence over Dragonstone. I beg your pardon? <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker is asking for Dragonstone. <laughs> That's incredible. I feel like I should be able to imprison him without incurring tyranny here. That's hilarious. No, of course not. Um, it seems my vassal Lord Lucerus, that's Lucerus Valarian, has been nursing a temper while awaiting an audience. My lord, I cannot abide your tolerance of unbelievers like Lord Paramount Eddard in the realm, even amidst the nobility. The seven who are one made his demands on us plain. This should be there, I think. 
I don't know if you can change that though, mod devs. Um, the Iron Throne should be a land of the faithful. Out with these old gods, dogs! All faiths are welcome in my seven kingdoms. Oh, I can convert to the old gods. Ah. <laughs> oh. That's kind of funny. No, there's like, there's no way we could ask for this. I don't think Rhaegar would. I mean, I, I wouldn't think that Rhaegar cares too much about the Seven and is much more concerned with Valyrian and Old God stuff. You know what? It would be very funny. Yeah, it's funny. Let's do it. <laughs> awesome. Court has been held. This is now an old god's house. We love the old gods here. There's Baylorist here, by the way. You know, in the cult of Baylor. Don't know if cult is appropriate. Night King moment. Why am I here? Interesting. Um, right. That's fun. Yeah, sure, you can show me your hom homage. Yeah, one step closer to Ned becoming my best friend. Um, someone asked about patch face. There he is. Oh, they've given him the the drowned god religion. That's, I mean, it makes sense. Cool. Um, he's not friends with Shireen because Shireen doesn't exist. Right, um, let's have a feast. I just want to see these events play out in this mod, because I haven't seen them yet. Um... <laughs> wait. Rayella, my mother and aunt, um, snuck out to have a ride with no control of my animals. They were staring love that they, they pulled a viscera. Um, other creatures in the stables did not get away much easier, and one goat nearly caved in under the weight of Lord Boris. Who's that? Boris Bullock. The feast ends. Oh, that was... That was nothing. Okay. You want me to... Oh, you're, you're willing to release Jaslyn Bywater if I pay you? Uh, yeah, sure. Titles can be created. Kingdom of the Crown Lands. How does that work? I could do it if I had 500 gold. Which I literally just got rid of. What's this? The Moonbrooks. How's that look de facto? I see. And where's this? Oh, that's a mess. Okay. Um... Keep going, keep going. My king huffs Alice a thorn. As he much as that up to me, holding my son Aegon by his ear. This dratted child has been lying in wait around corners, wearing a wolf skin for a costume, only to jump out screaming and scaring the living daylights out of people. Okay, um... Lamau. Is Lamau an option here? Oh, it is! This is honestly just bloody hilarious! <laughs> <laughs> uh. Uh. I can exile him. <laughs> I think laughing at it makes total sense. Like Lamau. That's fucking awesome, Aegon. Good job. Um Cola Hunt. <laughs> Ooh. 
Just as my vassal lord Alaric and I crest a hill, we hear it. The snapping of twigs, the rustle of branches, birds screaming in fright. They are heralds announcing its arrival, a massive boar heading straight for us. Now, I can befriend it. That's cute. Um, let's try to get it. I slay the beast. Epic. All right, cool. Um, right oh. Let's chill out at Summer Hall with that new prestige I've just acquired. Oh, it just, it literally just releases stress. Lord Magor. Magor Dragonmont. Of the Dragonmont. Imagine naming yourself Magor. I mean, most people don't name themselves. Some people do. Which is pretty based, actually. Anyway. <laughs> at the moment, I'm just being a king. I might continue this playthrough at the moment, um, at some point of an old god's Rhaegar with with a Jon Snow. I mean, that sounds pretty cool. We'll see how the Targaryen dynasty plays out. But I do need to play other characters, and that's what the other streams that I'm going to do will center around. I want to play each of the, like, um, Paramountsies. Ned, Jon, Hoster, Tywin, Mace. Um, I did Robert in the video. Maybe I'll try Robert again and, like, win. And then Duran. Um, maybe I'll do Aeris as well again, even though that was pretty uneventful. Um, and Quellon. Then Balon once he dies, I guess. Um, and then Minor Lords. Check on Robert. Robert's... It's just up there. Not really doing much. <laughs> he's he's a ba he's a fan of Jan Jantos Corgile, which is good. Who are his friends? He's got some friends. And he hates me. Can I... Rhaegar wouldn't try to kill him at the wall. Righto. He'll probably end up as Lord Commander at some point. Play with randomized sexualities next. <laughs> Someday. That sounds like fun. Alright. Let's play till the end of the year. Till 288 begins. I should probably be doing stuff with this time. But, um... Eh, screw it. Let's just let it play out. It'll auto-save. And then... I'll end the game. Well, I'll end the well, I won't end the stream. I need to read out a bunch of super chats. Thank you all, by the way. Um, Lord Owain, scheming against me. Who? Owain, Bernie. Bernie. Uh, throw him in jail? Throw him in jail. That's kind of funny. I hope they'll at some point implement the trial system that they had in the CK2 mod. I don't know if that's um, on the cards. There you go, pay me. All right, cool. And that's that. Let's save it. Um, Rhaegar win. Okay, and we'll go to here. And close CK3. Okay, now I earlier prepared this. Hang on, let me move you up here. Um, this is sending the wrong message, so I'll get rid of that. <clears throat> okay. Thank you all for watching. Um, that was the CK3 uh, Rhaegar playthrough. Um, it took us a long time to get one that worked, but when we did, it worked. Thank God. Um... Uh, <laughs> I'll put in timestamps so people can see when each game begins. Or maybe I won't do that because it's kind of spoilery. Not sure. Um, now, where do we get to? Oh my god, so much, so much, so much love. Um, I since you're playing as Rhaegar, do you have to wait for Danny's dragons to capture boots before you can march into battle? Oh, hi, Lucas. Um, no, actually, you just have to wait for the game to give you a good <laughs> random seed, I guess. Um, insert funny horse joke. Oh, thanks, Luke. Um, TY for keeping me company during COVID. Did I do that? Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for the support. Luke's a big supporter. Um... 
what else should I say? Oh yeah. Um, so I will be streaming tomorrow, or at least I intend to stream tomorrow, roughly the same time, maybe a little earlier. Um, but it might be on Twitch. I don't know. We'll see how I'm feeling. Because streaming to this many people is a lot more stress than streaming on Twitch. Which is why I do sometimes like to stream... Well, most of the time I like to stream on Twitch. I also do a bunch of other crap on Twitch um, that is not related to Game of Thrones. Which is why I try to keep it off of this channel. Because I know that most people aren't subscribed to watch me play GeoGuessr. But if that sounds like the sort of thing you'd like, follow me on Twitch. <laughs> um... Thank you, Kratom Khan, for the hundred check bucks. Love your videos, Galadriel. It's actually pronounced Galadriel, so, but thanks for trying. Um, thanks, Cam Dan, for the whatever the hell that is. Oh, I responded to that, didn't I? Um, thanks for the sub prime sub on Twitch. It's cool that Streamlabs combines all the Twitch and YouTube alerts into one place. Isn't that fun? Um, Inquisitor Thomas with five uh, dollars. Um, when Rhaegar's son is born, you should name him as Swifty. R plus L equals ASX. Um, I didn't do that. His name is Jaharis. Um, if only I'd read that three hours ago, although I probably definitely would have forgotten. Um, thank you, Gcanon12, for the also five bucks. Love all your content, Glimbo. Thanks for everything. No wuckers. <laughs> thanks for watching. Man, it's really silly that people do that. Oh, look at all these people coming over to the Twitch. See? You see that? That's people coming to the Twitch to follow me so they can watch me play GeoGuessr. Uh, um, Theo Noble with five bucks. Excited to see your eugenics program. I started the game with Euron and Ashara breeding for extra secret identity genes. That's a good one. Because then, like, if, if you do well enough, you can end up as Lamour and... Um, Halden Halfmaster at the same time, which is really confusing if you're Tyrion, but lots of fun if you're John Connington. Um, Rocco with the 225 euro, thank you. Um, G Cannon again, Harren Hole event at the top of the screen. Yes, I did see that and it did help. I also saw this from KM Dan and it did help. Game of Thrones books. Um, Lord Mud with. Lord Mud, how old are you? Um, with 50 check things. Um, if you, Sir Glumbo, had to rule someplace in the Westeros, where would you pick? Um, in Westeros specifically, not just the entire world. Fair Isle sounds nice. I mean, it says fair in the name, doesn't it? Oh, um, there should be a link to the Twitch in the description if you refresh the stream. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, somewhere I'd like to rule. Yeah, Fair Isle, Fair Isle sounds nice. Where else could be good? I mean, the, the the problem with Fair Isle, of course, is the Ironborn rating. Nowhere's perfect. Um, what part of Westeros would be most like suburban Melbourne? Um, not that I'd like to rule suburban Melbourne yet <laughs> make Bobby be a eunuch says Smith Black may he never enjoy the warmth of a woman I didn't I don't think that was an option the reach I keep being told that it's a Mediterranean climate where where, where in Westeros is like a Mediterranean climate. It, it, it's a little cold still. Um, Glorp Mengnorp, <laughs> fucking hell, says, Papa Glidu, please make this a daily occur. It, I literally am. It won't be daily forever, though, of course. Um, Tater Nuts says, Hey, Gluteus, who wins in a fight, Squisher with Grayscale or Platypus with Pentapox? Oh, given that Pentapox is... It's like double fiction because it's made up by fictional characters. I'm gonna put my money on the squisher. Um, <laughs> Among Us Law. Oh my god, Among Us Law, real. Um, I wish my cat could play the piano. Um, Bear is a little prodigy. Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, he's having a little sleep. No, don't get up. Don't get up. Oh, he's so cute. Can I get the camera up before he runs away? Oh my god, he's so cute. 
hang on. This this is more important than whatever you guys were talking about. Yes. Yes. Hang on. I know exactly what to do. Um add Where is it? Video capture device. Shit, that's not what I meant to do. Um, <laughs> uh, get rid of that. Uh, studio mode, that's the button you're supposed to press when you're doing crap like this. Okay. Okay. Okay, hang on. Are you, you, you guys aren't ready for this. There he goes. Oh my god, he's such a cutie. So in addition to being the most beautiful sweetie in the world, he's also- Oh, he's tired! He's a little sleepy! Um, <laughs> he's also a protege on the piano, I'm teaching him myself. Um, <laughs> he's so cute. He's- he actually never sits in that tower. So he, he's sitting in the scratching tower at the moment, right? Um, in the like, how long have I been living here? Two and a half months, almost three months. He like, he never sits in there and he's just been sitting there for the past three hours. Crazy. Aw, sleepy boy. Okay. Um, where was I? Yes. Um, Kiki Novak with two uh, chuck bucks and nothing. He doesn't say anything. Fantastic. My favorite kind of message. Um, Alina, with 50 Swedish things. Those Swedish? Um, finally catching a straight... What's up with my mouse now? Um, you and Alt Miftax have been feeding my A Song of Ice and Fire autism spiral. No worries. Thanks, I think. Um, you're welcome, I think. Kyle Alexander, I remember you. Is there a secret ending if you play Rhaegar and complete the Prince Who Was Promised prophecy? What do you mean by complete the prophecy? Do you mean like have a child with Liana, or do you mean have that child, you know, hold back the army of the dead? I don't think that's a thing in the game yet. I'm not sure actually though. Oh, he's so cute. Aren't you Bear? His name is Bear by the way, hang on. <laughs> We're doing it live. His name's Bear. Um, the magic dolphin says, um, my money's on Robert. Oh, do you mean in the duel? Uh, Robert did win the duel, didn't he? No bear, where are you, what are you doing? Where are you going? He's just readjusting. <laughs> um... Lumpus says, D hey, did I see you over at Scott's Thoughts? I've been spotted. Yeah, I watched Scott's Thoughts. I, he, his work is so good for um being on in the background, so I'm sure you know if you also watch. Um, for those who don't know, Scott's Thoughts... Oh, no, I've blocked the alert box. Uh, it's become a bit of a mess over here. <laughs> um, uh, Scott's Thoughts does solo Pokemon playthroughs in yellow, crystal, emerald. Um, it's trying to gather as much data and solo playthroughs as you can it, it's the like nerdiest shit you could imagine and i'm i'm all here for it um it's so good for um leaving on in the background while i'm editing specifically um 
Heather became a member. Thanks, Heather. Um, Ambassador Arsies. <laughs> what a name. Um, says, win this one. I don't know if I did. Um, Dag from Angry Beavers says, will you continue your playthrough of Telltale's Game of Thrones? I don't know. Um... I know a lot of you people want us to. What do you mean, you pe- I mean, like, the audience. I've seen a lot of comments from the audience. He's so fucking cute. Um, a lot of people in the audience have told us they want us to continue doing that. Um, but we have so many other things we need to talk about on those streams. We have started, like, seven different incomplete series uh, that we need to finish. <laughs> so, look... I'm not counting it out, but don't expect it anytime soon. Um, Sir Glimbo Stone. <laughs> oh no, it's it's finally happening to me. <laughs> uh, Zaddy Bega, true, 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 true. Um, Kyle Alexander again. I have to look over to my other monitor to read this whole thing. Just wanted to say thanks for cheering me up and making me laugh because today was not a good day and I was exhausted, but now I'm smiling. I have energy and there's a cat on the piano and actually today can be a good day. Any day can be a good day. Um, and I'm glad that I helped make yours one. That's awesome. Very nice of you to say and very nice of you to support, Kai. Um, mm mm says Glimbus you got to correct the timeline and marry Alicent and Rhaenyra together unfortunately the Game of Thrones mod does not yet have a dance with dragons um oh he's so fucking cute um timestamp to play thumb you can only play in Robert's Rebellion at the moment um Theo Noble says make Victorian join the white use sheets I responded to that as it happened Master Beta nice one mate that's funny says I was just playing as Rhaegar and died of leprosy that is so unfortunate there is as we just learned there are so many ways that playing as Rhaegar can go wrong and that's a ridiculous one I for one am stoked for the feast ah that's because there was a state of a feast at Stokeworth that's fucking hilarious um thanks Ranos Brendan, what a name, says, tell that other guy to keep going with his got abridged. I mean, he, he wants to. It's just, you know, uh, creating things is weird. Um, love from small farm from Norway. That's cool that you live on a small farm in Norway. I, I see a lot of small farms in Norway playing GeoGuessr. I, I could tell you that it's GeoGuessr for sure. Um, that it's Norway. I need to go to bed. Theo Noble, one last time. Thank you, Theo, for so much support. In the future, can we get a Magic Bloodline eugenics stream? The game comes up with pretty cursed combos. Um, I don't know if there's an, a Bloodlines you, um, sub mod for this yet. I doubt it, seeing as it just came out, but, uh, you know, maybe I, I shouldn't be surprised. Um, maybe. I've never really delved into the Bloodlines things. It wasn't really what appealed to me about the game um paco de bongo just subbed on switch thank you simco thanks simco um thanks for the stream hair glimbert have a good night and get good i did get good in the end and i i have had a good night and super rad i don't know if you, you can't see super rad. hang on uh, uh donates two dollars with super chat and just says the word egg i'm not sure exactly what they mean by that and I'm refreshing because I know that Adam there just donated. Um, can we donate to pet the bear boy? You don't have to donate to do that. Sorry, I didn't mean to disturb. So cute. All right. Um, will that be all? It's not a hand reveal. You got <clears throat> fake fans over here. My hand was in my second ever video. Does he like butt pats? He loves butt pats. He likes butt scritches even more.
Was it the same hand? You know what? It wasn't. It was a different hand. <laughs> Good point. Although I used to stream playing piano in the Discord, where you'd see both of my hands. Gladys Revealed kind of did happen with Greenland. Although, I mean, it's not that straightforward. Oh, he's going back to Eep. Aww. Okay, um, another thing you might know about me is that I suck at ending streams. I just really keep going, don't I? And before I get on the piano, we're going to have to end this one. And I'll see you tomorrow, which is exciting. Um, and, oh, maybe before we go, we should have a poll. I'll make a straw poll. Hang on. Do I have to make an account on Straw Poll? No, I don't. Okay. Who next CK3? Um, we've got Ned. Let's say Hosta, John, Tywin, um, Mace, Duran. Maybe only four options. I don't know if you can do polls in YT chat. I don't think you can actually. I'm expecting no one really wants to see Hoster at this point. He'll come later. So Ned, John, Tywin. Randall will have to wait because he's not a Lord Paramount. You can't play as Stannis because, um, you know, he doesn't own any land in the timestamp. You'd have to, like, become Robert and then die to be Stannis. You can. Oh, you can make straw poles is what you're saying. Right, the delay. No, I've never seen that before. How do you do that? Oh, I see now. Aha! Who next? CK3. Oh, that's cool. Um, Ned, Tywin. Um, not Quellon. Let's say Hoster, John, Aaron. I'll qualify that. Oh, and it only allows for four options. Fair enough. Oh, cool. I've pressed the button. Oh, Tywin's winning. Literally no one has voted for Hosta Tully. <laughs> yeah, vote now with your phones. Um, and if you haven't pressed the like button, I don't know what good... Like, you're not allowed to participate in the poll. Um, well, it looks like Tywin's winning that, like, uh, then we'd have to see a bit of a miracle for Ned to win. I'll give it another moment. Yeah, no, Tywin wins. Okay. I mean dead air I'm waiting for a fucking poll to end okay all right Tywin wins Tywin will be our next game that's fun that means we just kind of wait on the sidelines and then choose who wins <laughs> so I guess that will mean we'll have more of a future facing game as opposed to our Rhaegar one today right cool 
Um, let's full screen bear for a little bit because, I mean, that's all. That's what you all came here to see, right? There we go. <laughs> Taiwan good dad timeline. It could be real. Such a good boy. All right. Um, thank you all for tuning in. And thank the 700 of you for sticking around after the stream actually ended. You crazy people. Um, take it easy. Um, don't know really what else I should say. It's 5 a.m. and I need to go to bed. Good night. <laughs>